So today we are going to continue from tutorial 14. We are going to be doing some interesting things, trying to set up the, the bootstrap on the jQuery for page. Remember to subscribe to my channel if you've not subscribed, because I, I want to work with people who I can support. If you have challenges, let me know as well. So let's go to the HTML page. Now I have many things opened up, so I'm going to go to the students of HTML page, and I'm going to just right click here and close every other thing because I just want this one page to be open. So the, the instruction is that we are going to set up the bootstrap link and also the jQuery link and also the, 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 the bootstrap CSS, jQuery, uh, J, jQuery the JS and bootstrap the JS. Now I'm actually going to copy and paste because this is something you already know. So I'm going to just copy it now you're going to paste it here, control V, in the beginning of in the header section, that's where you are going to paste it. Now I mark them in red because if you get this wrong, uh, it's not going to work. So you need to actually be careful as you type in. Remember this backslash here? You need to use them. Create a simple table and test, uh, and test it using the table strips class. So uh, that is a, li a little test we are going to do. So let's create a table and let's make sure everything works. So this table we have a row, table row, a table row, and this table row has td, uh, td slash td, mm -hmm. and it has another td slash td, two columns, and let's call this name one and name two <coughs> name two so let's make a second row now we are simply want to, we simply want to test if the bootstrap is working so i'm going to set this table the class to be class equals table table straight so these are classes available in bootstrap the css and now again, let me just show you that this SRC specified here, you have SRC, WebJazz, jQuery, and uh, the, 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 the parts of the jQuery and CS files, they are downloaded to your project as dependencies. So if you go to um, Maven dependencies in your project, give me a sec, let me just shift this out here. If you go to Maven dependencies, let's see, Maven dependencies, and you look for jQuery or Bootstrap. This is this is Bootstrap. Drop down, drop down. This I go to Maven. You can see org as WebJazz. You can see Bootstrap. Sorry, yeah, it's actually should be resources WebJazz. So you can see Bootstrap and you can see 4.3.1. You can see everything we want is specified inside the WebJazz. So this is the parts we specified in the header. So let's run the application and test it to see if it's going to format the table we just created. So I'm going to run. And if it runs, I'm going to go to the table, to the page, and let's see if that table is formatted um, using the style we specified. All right, so Tomcat started, perfect. So let's go back to our Page, and I'm going to just refresh this page. Let's see. Good. So you can see that this table is formatted. So you can see it's well formatted uh, the way it should be. So uh, I don't know about table hover, but try out try table hover on and things like that. So we've set up. Uh, we've set up. Let's let me let me go back to the procedure. We we've set up. Bootstrap, jQuery, and, and the, the JS and CSS files we've set up. Um, send data from controller to view. That is 15. We'll see in the next tutorial that will be 15. I'd like to thank you for viewing. Remember to subscribe if you've not subscribed.